Hello, my name is Kenneth Perry. I am your technology expert. Welcome to my YouTube channel, K Perry Global. Today, we're gonna to talk about Cortana and how to gain access to Cortana across devices, right? Especially using it on your mobile phone. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button, comment, always like the comments, so keep them coming right. And then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel. All right, so let's hop into the content and go from there. For those who didn't know, you can install Cortana on your iPhone or your Android devices, giving you access to Cortana across devices. So on your PC, your tablet, and your phone. And for those who have Invoke speaker, like Microsoft Invoke speaker or Surface headphones, you also can use Cortana on those devices as well. Okay, so let's start off with the smartphone. So I'm gonna go to my phone and first thing you have to do is you have to download the Cortana application on your phone using the App Store. So whether you have an Apple App Store or you have the Google Play Store on Android devices, uh, you first have to go there in order to download the application. So I have an Apple a iPhone using iOS. So I'm gonna go to Applications, select Application, and then I'm gonna type in Cortana. Select Search and then it finds the Cortana application to install on your PC. Once you find the Cortana application, select install, wait a couple seconds or so, just depending on your Wi-Fi. So anytime now. Good. Now you wanna open the application. Once I get to the application, you want to select Allow Always uh, for Cortana to gain access to your location. So I'm going to click on that. And then you get another notification asking if you would like for Cortana to send you notifications. You definitely want to do that. So hit Allow Microsoft Account. The same account that you use to sign into your Windows PC. So I'm going to select Add an Account. I'm going to type in my Microsoft Account. And your Microsoft account could be any email address that you want. If you don't have a Microsoft account, then you can use Yahoo or Gmail, a Hotmail, whatever. You can use those. All right, sign in. You're going to sign in, and then it's going to ask you for your password. So once I put in my password, I select sign in. And it's going to take me to Cortana's home screen on my phone. Okay, there you have it. So then it gives me, uh, it takes me to the upcoming screen. So the upcoming screen gives you uh, all the information that's needed for today or tomorrow. You have on the left hand side here, if I, I click on the discover button, you have the discover button, which uh, gives you some tips on how to use Cortana so you can check your emails on the go. You can stay up to date with your schedule with Cortana. You also can join the next meeting uh, hands-free with Cortana and then also manage your task across Microsoft applications. That's with the To-Do app, Cortana app, and then also your Outlook app. Okay, let's go back to the Cortana home screen. And the right-hand corner, upper right-hand corner, you have the three lines, that means like list, right? Options. So when I click on the options, it takes me to settings, reminders, list, and then suggested tasks. So in settings, you can uh, manipulate or customize Cortana to your lifestyle. You can add your favorite places. You can add, uh, you know, different accounts, music, connected home, uh, calendar. There's a ton of things that you can, you can do in order to make it happen. Also, if I go to device, I can select the feature to turn Cortana, Hey Cortana on. So the Hey Cortana feature. So when I say, Hey Cortana, what do I have to do today? She can give me that information without me having to click a button. So I'm going to turn the Hey Cortana feature on. Okay. So with that being said, let's go back to the home screen here. And I'm giving Cortana access to my microphone. So now I can ask Cortana to set an appointment. Hey Cortana, I'd like to set an appointment. 
When's your event? Tomorrow at 12 p.m. Lunch with mom. Sure thing. I'll add lunch with mom for tomorrow at 12 p.m. to your calendar. Is that right? Yes. Got it. Once you add the appointment to my phone, now I can access that appointment on my computer or on the Invoke or any other device that I have with Cortana on there. Okay. Let's click out of this. I can ask her more information. So, hey, Cortana, I'd like to add something to my to-do list. All right. What do you want to add to your to-do list? Add to call mom. Okay. I added call mom to your to-do list. Excellent. So I didn't have to pick up a finger. All I had to do was just say, hey, Cortana. You can also ask Cortana questions about events that, that took place. We talked about this in uh, Cortana part two, but we haven't done it on the phone yet. So let's try it. Hey, Cortana, who won the basketball game last night? Yesterday, in their last game of the season, the Raptors squeaked by the Warriors. <laughs> they squeaked by the Warriors. That's funny. Winning the NBA Finals. Okay. Hey, Cortana, do I need an umbrella today? That's probably not necessary. The forecast shows partly sunny skies with a high of 68 and a low of 52. You can pretty much ask her anything. Maybe I was working on a math equation and I wanted the answer. I can simply say, hey, Cortana. What's 2 times 4 times 6 times 7 divided by 10? 2 times 4 times 6 times 7 divided by 10 is 33.6. Okay, so she gave me the answer. You name it, she can get the information for you, no problem at all, because that's what a personal assistant does. Your personal assistant is there no matter what device that you're using at that time. Whether you want to stay up to date with your schedule, or join the next meeting, or even getting your flight status, Cortana is going to provide all that information for you. In Cortana part four, we're going to explore more of the managing skills and how you can use Cortana on your Cortana enabled device, like the Invoke or the Surface headphones. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching Cortana part three. Cortana part four is coming up next. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button. If you have any comments or any feedback, keep it coming. Comment in the comment section. And then don't forget to subscribe to K. Perry Global YouTube channel. Thank you and have a good day.